Carol again with Carol B. Crafts. I had some requests for to show how I made the uh, easel for displaying cards. So I'm going to do this video and I appreciate your patience and waiting for me to get around to doing it. But basically it is um, made of cardstock and then you can place your card on it to display your card. Now I know it's kind of hard to see from that angle, so I'm going to tilt it up, but you can see pretty much how it works. It just fits in there. Now to make this um, easel, you're going to need one sheet of thick cardstock. It's going to be eight and a half by 11 and you can get two easels out of one sheet. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it a half an inch off on the end here so that you now have a half an inch, you have eight, eight by 11. We're going to turn it the portrait style and we're going to measure it at four inches and we're going to cut. Then we're going to measure another one at four inches and get it measured there good and we're going to cut and then this one we're going to measure at six inches and we're going to cut that so now we have three pieces we have the two ba bases the body parts and they are four inches by eight and we have this which is going to be used for, I call it like the stabilizer arm here, which is good for if you um, have air conditioning vents nearby or if it's near a door where the breeze keeps coming, door opening and shut, the breeze makes it fall over. The stabilizer helps keep it in place. Okay, for the two stabilizer arms, we're going to need one inches, and so we're going to cut one inch strip so now we have a one inch by six inch and then one more and another one inch by six inch and then this we can use later for uh, making cards using it for a sentiment or something so this is what we need we need um, four inches by eight inches one inch by six inch. So this actually makes two. So I'm going to set these aside. And now we need our um, scoring board. We'll start with the larger piece and it's going to be landscape. We'll mark, take a pencil and we're going to mark, get my pattern out, I'm going to mark one and a half inch. Let me get this in here good one and a half inch with our pencil, turn it clockwise, mark three quarters of an inch, then we're going to find our half inch mark here and follow it up till we get to the half inch mark there. And I'm just going to use this to kind of help guide my pen. So half inch and half inch so right about there I'm gonna make a mark now we're gonna turn it clockwise again and this time we're gonna mark it at five and a half inches right here and then we're going to score it at four inches fold it away from you get your um, bone folder and crease the scoring line. So now you have your marks one and a half, three quarters, half inch in on both sides, and five and a half from the edge here. Now for the stabilizer, we're going to mark it at one and a half inch and score it at three. Then we're going to crease those folds. Okay, now we're done with our scoring board. 
Next, you're going to need some really sharp scissors. And we'll begin by going from our three quarter of an inch mark, cutting to the half inch mark in the center. Then we're going to go from our one and a half inch from the edge to our little dot. Now we're going to do this, use the, what we just cut, we're going to use it as our pattern to cut the bottom layer and then do the same from the side here. Okay, let me trim that just a little bit better. Now you can try to cut both at the same time. I haven't had much luck doing it that way, but you can try. Um, so then we're going to turn it to the bottom where we have this mark and we're going to cut about a half an inch up. You can measure it if you want. And then cut the bottom layer again. And I like to make just a little bit of a, a nick there about the width of a piece of cardstock. You can see that it's just about the width of a piece of cardstock. Okay, now we're going to do our stabilizer bar. Find our half inch here. We're going to cut our one and a half inches from the edge. We're going to cut a half inch up from there. And then we're going to do the bottom layer. And then again, a little bit of a sliver cut out of there. You can see it's just a tiny little sliver of paper. And that gives it a, some ease when you're trying to assemble it. Now we'll take this piece and our stabilizer bar. And the folds should be facing each other. Open it up. Open them up. And put this one here. And then put this one here. Now, if for some reason you, you didn't cut your slivers, your slices up in the paper deep enough, this piece won't be even or flush with the other piece. If it's not, you'll need to take it apart and cut them a little bit deeper until just a little bit at a time until they're both deep enough that when you put them together, this is flush. Otherwise, if it's not flush and one piece is sticking out further, when you go to set it down, it's not going to be, it's going to get wobbly. So make sure that those are flush. And then um, you can, however wide your card is, you can have it this wide or you could have it this wide depending on how big your card is. Now for this card, I need it about that wide. And you can see how that works. But if you want a smaller card, let's say if you wanted to do this, this is actually a gift card holder, but you could say it's a card. Let's say you want a smaller card. Well, you can see that the back is kind of sticking up there and if you don't want that then what you can do is you can cut the back down a little bit so that your card the back isn't showing as much and if you really want to get rid of the, the back and you can actually cut it at an angle like that So that you have this. And then also, sometimes with the smaller cards, you don't need all of this in the front. This part right here. So you can actually cut some of that off too. I'm cutting about an eighth of an inch off. About this much here. I'll show you. I cut about that much off. And now we have a smaller one, a smaller version of the 
you get it here. A smaller version of the card holder. And this is great for photos. Sometimes uh, for Christmas I get photos uh, from children instead of cards. They'll do like a, a photo card with Merry Christmas on it. So these are great for um, displaying your photos that you get from uh, instead of cards. Well, I hope this has helped, and thank you so much for watching. And be sure to check out my blog, Carol B. Crafts, at um, www.carolbcrafts.com. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye now.